Welcome to part six of Marvel Ultimate Alliance. We're about to deal with the exterior of the Omega base in just a moment, but first we had to break some items to make sure there's some coins or some health or anything that could help us. Because Spider Woman is losing a lot of has lost a lot of health. And we don't want her to fall. I mean, there aren't any boss battles coming up anytime soon. But we are going to be going through a chase section. Thankfully, Dum Dum Dugan is not going to be going anywhere near the chase section either. His escort mission is over the moment you made it to this checkpoint. So you don't have to worry about him for, per se. And with uh, Dum Dum Dugan literally in safe... Well, safe... Okay, in safekeeping. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm stuttering there. Um, all you're practically doing is beating up super soldiers and aim troopers, and that's it. There are going to be some super soldiers that will have some sorts of resistance. Same thing with the aim troopers. But the aim troopers are much more annoying because they have shields, and you'll be seeing more shielded guys, like, throughout the entirety of this stage. Now that we've gone past the escort mission part of this, there's only one escort mission, and also this mission to save the Omega Base is not time. If anything, there is only one time section, and that's for something totally completely different. And when we cross that bridge, I'm going to talk more about it. But for the time being, we're trying to deal with all the aim troopers, the super soldiers, and for the record, I haven't even described anything about Spider-Woman. Spider-Woman is pretty much as strong as Spider-Man. Difference is, Spider-Woman has, uh, do not have a web shield or anything of that nature, but she does have an eight-way directional web shot. And she can fly. Yeah, her outfit has it to where she can fly, unlike Spider-Man who web swings. And no, there are no relation. And she did not get the same uh, powers as uh, Peter Parker through getting... I think she got bit by a spider. I'm not sure. I don't remember how Spider-Woman got her powers. But I do know this. Um, Spider-Woman has a uh, web shoot and also an eight-way directional web shoot. She doesn't have the web trap like Spider-Man. I mean, at least not early on like Spider-Man. She gets it later, though. And we have Elektra, who I think speeds up and increases her criticals, if I'm not mistaken. That's pretty much what she does, and also deals double damage to enemies. But Femme Fatale is supposed to deal, like, plus five damage to the enemies. So that's why we're actually doing more damage than what we originally were if we weren't in a team. All right, sure. it's time for us to get through this area, but we're not going through this area, well, without any trouble. Because the moment we come anywhere near this place, a helicopter appears. That helicopter is going to be the bait of your existence in the later portion of this part. But here, it's practically going to be randomly dropping uh, missiles while you either fight off goons and also trying to pass through this area. You just gotta get out of the way of the targets. Because a splash damage will do you some damage. However, sometimes those helicopter missiles will actually destroy the aim troopers. So, if you have the chance to lure the aim troopers into the squares, the aim troopers, and also the super soldiers, will end up being killed. Oh, and this one is also... Oh, and there's another thing. Uh, some of these uh, aim troopers actually have energy drain, and they will show up later on in this part, too. Now, for those guys, you can only use physicals, because they're draining your energy, and you won't be able to use powers, obviously. So keep an eye out on some of the weaknesses, and 
I do believe one of the shield, no, I mean the super soldiers, sorry, has um, double strength, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I mean, I mean it, it might not be in this portion of the stage, but it is somewhere else. So be on the lookout for him and use the block button, because block button does not by any means mean you're going to be taking chip damage. That's one thing I'm wholeheartedly glad for. But just make sure nobody actually shows up behind you. Alright, there is one other thing I forgot to mention. Like, whenever your characters level up, I think that level up is also for everyone else. So, you won't be, like, with a low-level team going into a high-level place like this, or a high-level place... Oh, yeah, these guys have elemental resistance, too. Anyway, or come in with a low-level uh, team to places like Mephisto's Realm or Murder World, where they're very high-level goons, and they can really hurt. Now, some of the AIM droids, or I think AIM Rap... I mean, aim raiders? Whatever the hell those robots are. They actually can be killed by just grabbing them and ripping them in half. That'll not only get you a lot of health and possibly save you from being terminated by these missiles, you are getting up from that. but also you can get yourself a lot of energy back if you happen to use powers because breaking those aim robots in half will just make... will just easily be much more convenient to get some more health than what it would getting, uh... No, Aim Reaver, that's what they were. Yeah, breaking those things in half will gain you more health and more skill, and sometimes get you more coins. But just kicking them and punching them is not going to get you as much as you expect. I mean, sometimes it do, sometimes it don't. It all depends, and I think that was the guy that had the double damage. Now, uh, you can also break the pipes here too. And yeah, I'm playing as Electra also. <clears throat> you can also break the pipes as well. And you can also, uh, break some of the other breakable stuff on this ship. But you don't have to have Super Strict to rip these Reavers in half. <clears throat> We're coming close to the end of this outside segment. We just need to take care of a few stragglers along the way. And yes, you can throw enemies off the cliff. And it would be a great idea to throw enemies off the cliff when you start getting overwhelmed. Because the less enemies you have, the more they're going to get up to try to attack you if they get knocked down. Because some of them will just be stunned you instead of being knocked down. Others, if you take away their HP really quickly in a combo, you'll be able to um, knock them down instantly. But we're just, keep, we're just going to keep on fighting and avoiding all the missiles from the helicopter. And again, that helicopter will be dealt with. But not in this part, unfortunately. It will be dealt with in part 8, I do believe. Yes, it'll be dealt with in part 8. Because that's basically leading on to the end of the stage. And that will probably be also where the time section is. But for right now, you're just worried about not being blown the hell up by this helicopter. So we're just going to... Avoid being blown up, and also take out these shield guys. I mean, not the actual shield organization. I mean, the shielded aim troopers. That's what I meant to say. I gotta, I gotta make that more clear. After all, they are holding shields, and we're trying to get rid of these guys from a shield base. So I think we're just about done. Yes, we are, and now there's two of these goons. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, I think I need to talk about Electra. Electra, I, well, I've already talked about her powers, but Electra is a dare, was a daredevil villain, sorry, but I think she's like a daredevil anti-hero. 
because she was killed and then brought back. That's the only thing I remember about Electra. I probably forgot what, what, what most of her lore was because modern Marvel never used her and while she did have a good run in Daredevil, the moment Mark Waid took over, Electra was all but an afterthought. So that's why I barely remember her. And then the Daredevil show itself didn't actually use her. So with that said, we managed to make it to the we save point top. here. We well, I wouldn't call it a save point, but rather another checkpoint that we could actually use to save. Well, it's technically a save point if I have to go that far, but I do believe they have that save point for a reason. There's going to be a boss battle up ahead. And we might as well take the time to use that save point. Because that console may just be... Actually, there was a console that's uh, somewhere else that you're going to have to protect. But we'll worry about that in Part 8. But for right now, we're going to have to save because in Part 7, we do have a boss battle and a mook rush. So that's why I'm split this up into four, because the mook rush takes longer than the boss battle. Granted, the boss battle is also pretty damn hard. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of Marvel Ultimate Alliance, where we take on Mysterio. Yeah, Mysterio is here in this game too.